Those are online. Am I audible? Yes, sir. So listen, this session is also being given as an open session for you to ask your queries. Right. Tanushri, Ananya and uh, Chitesh. So let me know which chapter, if you have any questions, we have completed eight chapters, right? Out of the eight chapters, you have any chapter which is bothering you, you can let me know. And let me know the subtopics and I'll clear your doubts. I asked, do you have any doubts? Because I, I don't think it makes sense for me to start the new chapter also. Those who are online, you can also ask. Anushri, especially you can ask because we have upcoming exam, no? Ananya, you? You asked for straight lines, right? Yes. Sir. Did they teach you straight lines? Yeah, they taught us straight lines in school. Sorry, they taught her? Yes, sir. They taught her. Okay, okay, but you don't worry as I told you, you know, though the videos are already available for it. You can go through it. I've done all the derivations with respect to that chapter. All the derivations of all the equations. Okay, okay as I told you, the only thing is you need to have a little bit of patience. Have a pen and a paper. Write it down. Don't keep watching it. Then you will understand. Anushree, no questions? Sir, actually watched all those uh, videos you have sent in the app. Sir, your voice is very low. Your voice is very low. Sir, I have watched all different? the videos. Can you hear me now? Okay. okay. I have watched yeah, yeah, I'm able the to. videos okay, in sir. Trignam. Sir, okay, I have watched all watched the it. videos in the app. Yeah, so I'm like, itself. I don't have hmm. any doubts right now. You don't have doubts. Only thing is you need to sit and practice now. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yeah. Chitesh, what about you? The case mic is also not on. I don't know if you can hear me. Chitesh, am I audible? For you, da? no doubt, sir. Test is there, sir. Test is certain, sir. There, sir.
ஓகே என்ன பண்ணலாம் யாருமே வாய் தரக்கல யாருக்குமே டவுட்ஸ் இருக்கு shall we get started so i think someone else has also asked the same question i think chitesh asked the same thing no okay, those are online those who are joined late i'm just giving you a heads up i'm not taking anything new i'm only taking up the questions of whatever doubts you have from the previous shop, chapter is it clear so if you have anything just keep them consolidated and ask me so that the session is helpful okay yeah so the question is about permutations and combinations right now when you talk about permutations it is basically about arrangement so permutation is about arrangement of objects whereas combinations is about selection of objects okay but you can ask me sir there is a place where sometimes they ask how many teams are formed by selecting these many players right but that time i don't know whether i need to apply permutation or combination it's confusing right so understand that there are certain keywords that are used for permutations so if you know the keywords right you will be able to understand what you are supposed to do 
So what are they called as? They are called as the key words. So what are the key words that you have for permutation is? We use the word like how many words are formed. So you will have the keyword as formed. You need to be very important with this word form because I'll tell you this form will come in both the cases, but you should know when to apply permutation and when to apply formation. So if at all they give you the digits, they will ask you how many numbers can be formed. So whenever you talk about the words being formed or numbers being formed, you always need to use permutation because let's say I'm giving you three digits. One, two, and three. Let's say you are forming a number one, two, three, and you are forming another number two, three, one. Are they both the same? One, two, three, and two, three, one. Can you say that both the numbers are the same? One, twenty-three, and two, thirty-one. Are they the same? No, they are not. Number digits are same, but as a number, one twenty-three is not this. One twenty-three is not the same as two thirty-one. Right. So here, what is most important? It is important on at which position the digit is placed. Right. So if there is an importance of where a particular digit or a letter is to be placed, then we use a concept of permutation. So if there is an importance for what? What did I say? Whenever you see the word formed, what is more important? Position. Position of whom? Position of letter or number so if you have a position of letter or number right then uh, which is important then you call that as permutation then you are going to use permutation okay or else the other keyword that they will use is in how many ways things can be arranged arranged is again permutation or they will give you another term stating that in how many how many they will give you directly the word as permutations itself they will give you the word permutations itself so if these are all the keywords that are used you are going to use permutations whereas if they are going to give the words like formed so this is where the confusion will start so there also you told formed here also you are saying formed but the question is, in the case of formed, mostly the questions will be about the teams being formed. When you're going to select people, right? Let's say, say there are 20 people available. Out of the 20 members, you need to form a cricket team of 11 members. So what is the word used there? What is the keyword used there? Formed. But if you see, out of the 20 members, the priority is not important. You can take the X person first, Y person second, and keep doing it. Or you can take the Y person first and X person second. But in both the cases, the team, team is still going to be same. What will you say? It is a team of 11 members. But you not say there is a team of 11 members where this player is first, this player is second. You can keep jumbling it. So there, the word form has a different context. Are you able to understand what I am saying? So whenever the same word form is used for selecting or making teams right for selecting teams then you use the combinations concept to solve the problems okay so what are the other keyword they can use they can use the keyword as selection in how many ways can something be selected or selection right i'll use the word selected in how many ways something can be selected so when you select something you don't look at the order Whereas when you arrange something, you look at the order. What is the meaning of arrangement? See, if I take this keyboard, for instance, right? This keyboard has a particular pattern. If you see every keyboard in this world is made up of this pattern only. It starts with Q first, W, E, R, T, Y. It's called as QWERTY keyboard. Though the letters are in the alphabetical order, though, they are going, though there is an order for it, you start with A. The keyboard doesn't start with A. I don't know why they have done it. That's a different story. But there is... A particular pattern that is there. So here order is important. So if I need to form something like this, I need to follow permutation. You're able to understand. So you need to actually look at that perspective. So what is the other way they can ask? Or they can already use the word as combinations. Those are online. Am I clear with this? 
See, they can either use a word formed or they can use a word selected or they can use a word combinations. If these keywords are going to come, then you're going to use the formula for combination. If these keywords are going to come on the left hand side, then you're going to use the permutations to solve. Am I clear? Those are online. Am I clear? Can you please respond? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Can you tell me the, just we'll discuss a few questions to understand. Okay. Give me the book. I'll randomly pick some questions, especially I can do that from miscellaneous part. Okay. So those who have textbook can open the miscellaneous part. No, see, I'm not going to solve the problem, okay? I'm only going to ask you, what will you use? Whether you're going to use permutation or combination. I'll read the question, listen to that carefully. Okay, let it be a quiz session. The first question in miscellaneous is, how many words? So when you see the word words, what should permutation? Because for words, what is important? A-N is not the same as N-A. I'll give you two, two letters, A and N. I'll ask you to form two words. A, N, and N, A. Are they both the same? No. One is and, one is na. Right? So, how many words with or without meaning each of two vowels and three consonants can be formed? What are the formed? So, can be formed from the letters of the word daughter. Permutation or combination? Permutation. Next, how many words with or without meaning can be formed using the letters of the word equation at a time so that the vowels and consonants are together? Words, permutation. A committee. Committee in Bathone, what should come to your mind? Combination. A committee of seven has to be formed. You formed work, but it is combination. A committee of seven has to be formed from nine boys and four girls. In how many ways can this be done when the committee consists of exactly three girls, at least three girls, and at most three girls? It's combination. Right. Fourth one. If the different permutations, he has given the word, I told you, no, they'll use the word permutations also. Fourth one. That's there, no? If the different permutations of all the letters of the word examination are listed in dictionary pattern, in, in a dictionary, how many words are there in the list before the first word starting with the letter E? This is similar to an example problem, which I've already solved. I think it will come, the word will be N-A-I-G. There is a, again in the word length, we took and solved it. You can go and look at it. It's a similar pattern. So what are they saying? That you need to use different permutations to make use of the letters of the word examination. And you need to write them in the dictionary order. When you write the dictionary order, what is the first word that starts with the letter E? Is what they are asking. So you tell me the outline, what I supposed to use? Permutation. Okay. Fifth one. How many six digit numbers can be formed? Numbers can be formed. So it is going to be permutation. So how many six digit numbers can be formed from the digits 0, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, which will be divisible by 10 and no digit is repeated. Permutation. The English alphabet has five vowels and 21 consonants. How many words with two different vowels and two different consonants can be formed? Words formed. Permutation. In an examination, a question paper consists of 12 questions. Divided into two parts. So listen to this square. There is a tricky one. Okay. 
in an examination a question paper consists of 12 questions divided into two parts part 1 and part 2 containing five questions and seven questions respectively a student is required to attempt eight questions in total so totally how many questions does the question paper have 12 so from the 12 questions part there are two parts part 1 has five questions part 2 has out of 12 five are gone so many will be there see the 12 questions in total run part 1 has five questions part 2 will have seven questions okay so that is how the question paper is formed now there is a student sitting in the exam hall so his job his or her job is to attempt eight questions in total so out of the 12 questions he or she should attempt only eight questions total of eight questions so it can be like five questions you answer all the five questions from part 1 three questions from part 2 or 4 4 3 5 your wish okay right this question alone i'll do and see so what are they saying there is a question paper which consists of 12 questions so part 1 consists of five question and the part 2 consists of seven questions right part 1 consists of five questions and part 2 consists of seven questions the student is supposed to attend eight questions in total in total right right now we'll read the question listen to the keyword a student is required to attempt eight questions in all selecting at least three from each part selecting combination so here order is not important when you are writing you can write the first question first third question next and second question after that it's up to you but what what is that you are supposed to do you need to write eight questions you can choose any eight questions so selecting abdinal a combination so listen to this <laughs> a student is required to attempt eight questions in all selecting at least three from each part there is a condition imposed selecting at least <coughs> three from each part in how many ways can the student select the questions so selecting at least three how many are there in part 1 so out of the five questions the student can choose three questions and and in the case of permutation or combination is multiplication right so how many questions are ah, tell me did anyone call me now i heard sir okay so out of the five questions from part 1 he or she will choose three questions what will happen to the next case out of the seven questions available in part 2 how many questions are needed to be attempted how did i say five because when you add these base numbers it should come to the total value that you need to choose right it can either be 5c3 into 7c5 or or means plus and means multiplication or means addition see this and or or will not be given in the question itself you should know that okay so that is a logic that i cannot explain it i hope you understood from the explanation i gave so 5c3 into 7c5 what is next part so from the five questions available the student can choose so minimum is 3 the student can choose 3 4 or 5 so in this case let's say the student is choosing 4 it should be 5c4 and how many questions will be chosen from the second part 7 c4 you know i told you, you know when you add the base values it should come to 8 so what is the next case the student can choose all the five questions and from the second part they can choose three questions is it getting satisfied see for example had this come out as 7c2 right you should have not written it why because minimum number of questions from each section should be three but in this case 7c3 is coming as a minimum after this can you write you cannot why because all the five questions are exhausted from the seven you have already chosen three and you are done you solve this you are going to get the answer the solving part i am leaving it to you i am only discussing the logic am i clear with this you guys are clear the next question determine the number of five cards combinations they have given it 
they have told it combination determine the number of five cards combinations out of a deck of 52 cards if each selection that, that is also telling you that is combination if each selection of five cards has exactly one king next now listen to this question very carefully okay it is required to seat it is required to seat s e a t okay it is required to seat five men and four women in a row so that the women occupy the even places and how many such arrangements are possible why arrange that is one thing secondly whenever it comes to the seating order i use the word seating order order means the position is important so wherever positions are important and permutation comes into picture now listen to this 10th question from a class of 25 students 10 are to be chosen chosen means selected or formed chosen selected so it is combination so from a class of 25 students 10 are to be chosen for an excursion party there are three students who decide that either all of them will join or none of them will join in how many ways can the ex excursion be chosen combination last question of miscellaneous in how many ways can the letters of the word assassination be arranged first of all words words order is important arranged permutation in how many ways can the letters of the word assassination be arranged so that all the s's are together permutation right so since now you know how to find where to use permutation and combination, the next is about the technique of solving it. That part you will get it only through practice. Am I clear with that? Right. So that's all about permutation and combination. Right? Those are online, I hope you could understand. And you could figure it out also, where to use permutation, where to use combination. Tanushri, can I have a response from you? Yes, sir. Are you clear now? Yeah. Yes, sir. So, Ananya, Rohit, Sanjana, Shweta. Yes, sir. Are you all clear? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. So, I'm waiting for the next set of questions. There is absolutely no pressure that you should ask because you're sitting in the class. If there is no question, it's fine. Maybe instead of ending at 7.30, we'll end it past that, sir. Okay? It's important that your doubts are getting clarified. Sorry, graph line the question. But graph and the Mikirka, Soli Gurta, daily company. It's not there, but Soli Gurta. Okay, I can explain it, but I'll see the same. Let me check it once. Another than a Solita Lachra. 
But if it is there for exam, I'll teach you. Any more questions as well? Now, the question one, I'll explain you the logic. Can you try with that? See, in linear inequalities, right? So when it comes to linear inequalities, let's say x plus y is less than phi is a linear inequality. And you need to find the solutions for this. So what the meaning of solution? See, for example, if I say x plus y is equal to 5, what is the difference between both? They both look similar, but they are not. Obviously, what is it? One is an equation, one is an inequality. Right. So I'm going to ask one important question here. If I say x plus y is equal to 5, find the solution for it. What is it? Listen to my question carefully. I'm saying x plus y is equal to 5 and I'm asking you the solution for it. What will be the answer? You have infinite solutions because if you want to find the solution of a linear equation in two variables, then minimum number of equations that are required are 2. Number of variables is equal to number of equations. So, for example, if I have something like x plus y is equal to 1, then I'll be able to find one such solution. Provided they are not parallel or they are not coincidental. I don't think they are parallel. I, actually, they are parallel. Sorry. See, for example, you have 2x plus y is equal to 1. No, they are not parallel. So, you will, you will have one solution for sure. Like how I found is a1 by v1 is equal to a2 by v2. That's the logic. Okay. This is with respect to linear equality. Or linear equations. You know that there are different methods, substitution method, elimination method, then you have cross multiplication method, and you have a formula. The cross multiplication is what is the formula? You can solve it like that. But when it comes to inequality, when I say x plus y is less than phi, by default itself it has infinite solutions irrespective of how many of the inequalities are there. Okay. Now, if I have to Observe what is going to be the solution for this graphically. What am I going to do? I'm going to observe it graphically. I'll take this as x axis, this as y axis. So when I say x, so first thing I need to do is I need to convert this inequality to equality. x plus y is equal to phi. When I write x plus y is equal to phi, all that I need to draw the graph is put x is equal to 0, y will be phi. So the point will be 0, comma phi. Put y is equal to 0, x will be 5. So y is equal to 0 is x axis. So it will be 5 comma 0. When you join them, you are going to get a line like this. And this is the line for x plus y is equal to 5. Okay. But I just want to stress on one point here. You need to be very clear with the inequality. If the inequality is strictly less than phi, right? If the inequality is strictly less than phi, then all that you need to do is the line is correct. But don't draw it as continuous line, draw it as dotted line. I, I, why I'm saying it as dotted line is because the graph that I drew is for x plus y is equal to phi. But in the inequality, it is strictly less than phi. Less than or equal to Nirinda, you'll draw a continuous line. If it is only less than, then you will have a dotted line. Makes sense? Did you understand how to draw the graph? I'll just put it simple. So there'll be a question where they'll ask you, find the solutions of the inequality x plus y is less than phi using graphical method. If they say that first thing you need to do is equate that x plus y to phi, right? And then use this logic of x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 and draw a line. So if the inequality is strictly less than something, strictly less than or greater than, it can be anything less than or greater than, draw dotted lines. If it is less than or equal to or greater than or equal to draw continuous lines. Am I clear? Second step is take the point 0 comma 0 that is origin and substitute it in that inequality and see. So you take 0 comma 0 
substitute in that inequality and see if that 0 comma 0 is satisfying the inequality you should shade the side which has origin if 0 comma 0 is not satisfying the inequality you should shade, uh, shade the side which does not have the origin so for example in this case origin is 0 comma 0 if i put 0 comma 0 in the inequality what will happen 0 plus 0 will come which is 0 itself is 0 less than 5 yes it is so since origin is satisfying the inequality, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade the side which has origin. So I'm going to shade this side. And this answer. That's it. So can you tell me the steps? First, consider the inequality as equality. So first you'll consider the inequality as equality. Then you will put x is equal to 0. You will get the y coordinate. You can write it down. So first step is consider the inequality to be equality. Second step is put x is equal to 0 and find value of y. And put y is equal to 0 and find the value of x. Okay, so you'll get two points. When you put x is equal to 0 and find the value of y, you will get a point on which axis. When you put x is equal to 0 and y, y value comes out, you get the point on the y axis. If you put y is equal to 0 and you get x value, you get the point on the x axis. So if you have a doubt, you can just write it below that itself. You can just put in the bracket saying, when you put y is equal to 0, x value is on x axis. When you put x is equal to 0, y value is on y axis. That is how I drew. Okay. So that is the second step. Third step is draw a line joining those two points. Draw a line joining those two points obtained in step number 2. Obtained in step number 2. Okay, obtained in step number two, right? And in the bracket, right, draw a continuous line, draw continuous line if the inequality is, if the inequality is less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. You write it like this. If the inequality is less than or equal to or greater than or equal to right else else draw dotted lines if the inequality is less than or greater than
So step number four is substitute zero comma zero in the inequality, and if it satisfies the inequality, shade the region containing the origin. Shade the region containing the origin. Shade the region containing the origin. Else, else, shade the shade the region that does not contain the origin. Or else shade the region that does not contain the origin. Okay. Now, I'll give you a question. Solve it. Two x plus y greater than or equal to six. So solve it graphically.
I gave you the steps. No, that is what you need to follow. What did I say? What is the first step? Write it as equality. 2x plus y is equal to 6. Puts x is equal to 0, y is equal to 6. So what point is that? It's a point on the y-axis. Put y is equal to 0, x is equal to 3. It is a point on the x-axis. So you need to draw the continuous line in this case. Why? Of course, greater than or equal to. Now you substitute 0, 0 and c. So where will you substitute 0, 0 in this? When you substitute 0, 0, it will be 0 plus 0 greater than or equal to 6. Is this right? Is 0 greater than 6? No. So since 0 is not satisfying the inequality, you should draw or shade the region which does not contain the origin. So the other side. This side is what you need to shape. That's it. So that is how you need to solve. Now you can try. So any other question? You have something within the square roots itself. Can you show me the question? Write down. Show me the question. I have to write it down. What should we find from that? No, I didn't understand. Like, what do we need to find the domain? Uh, range? Uh, in a... See, domain means there's a question root of. So question is f of x is equal to root of x minus 3 minus 2 root of x minus 4 minus root of x minus 3 plus 2 root of x minus 4. So you need to find the domain when see for example. Thing is this is there no x minus 4 should be greater than or equal to 0. So x should be greater than or equal to 4. That is one inequality. Similarly, x minus 3 minus 2 root of x minus 4 should be greater than or equal to 0. Meaning, this whole thing is supposed to be greater than or equal to 0 because it is under a square root. Okay. So then x minus 3 will be greater than or equal to 2 times root of x minus 4. So squaring on both sides, x minus 3, the whole square will be equal to greater than, oh sorry, greater than or equal to 4 into x minus 4. On so. It will not go. It will not. 
That is not how it works. I'm squaring on both sides, no? So it will be x square plus 9 minus 6x is greater than or equal to 4x minus 16. So x square minus 10x plus 25 is greater than or equal to 0. Right. So this is actually x minus 5, the whole square is greater than or equal to 0. Right. When x minus 5 is greater than or equal to 0, x will be greater than Actually, x minus 5 is always going to be greater than or equal to 0. Okay. So, that is how this works. Similarly, when you solve this also, what you will get is you will get x minus 5 the whole square is greater than or equal to 0. So, that clearly indicates that this is possible for all values of x that belongs to R. Okay. So, one is having the range of R and the other has the range of greater than or equal to 4. So, when I say greater than or equal to 4, it goes like this. So, X belongs to 4 to infinity. That will be the answer. You need to take the intersection of both. What is the other one? Draw the Venn diagram and then see it. Just draw the Venn diagram. Take
So those are only any questions. No, sir. Okay. Okay. So then those who are online, you can leave. We will wind up the session. So about tomorrow's class, I'll inform you. Mostly will not have. Okay. Thank you, sir. So those who are online can leave. Sir. Yeah. yeah sir, uh, sir, can you just repeat what you told about tomorrow's class? I'm saying mostly will not have one, sir. I'm saying. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Can you solve that problem on your own? That's it. Try it.